Welcome back to Crypto Gains for another video. I want to show you what I see in the Bitcoin price chart. If it's sounding interesting, drop that like, give me a subscribe. Let's take a look. In my last video that I did, what, 12 days ago? Which one? This one here. Bitcoin's next big move. <coughs> uh, I was sharing a video saying, well, it says in the title, Bitcoin and altcoins are about to explode, but is it up or down? I shared this video here, tried to give my input on where I think we may hold support for Bitcoin. Let's take a quick listen. But again, we will see, because if we break it, then this is when you turn on the 200 to find out where can it hold support if it breaks the green line. And then that next opportunity would be right down here. Which so real quick and simple, I was showing you guys that uh, we had I had moving averages up, which was my, in this video, 100 day moving average and 200 day moving average. I'm gonna grab that up right now just to show you how it's looking. We broke the support of this green line, which was the 100 day moving average, which is the simple moving average. I can see here, SMAs. And it fell right down towards this red line. Now at that time, the video, the red line was a bit lower because moving averages, they, they move, right? So they don't stay the same. So in the space of 12 days, this moving average has come up and you can see here, uh, they have been slowly moving up and we did sort of come close to it. We came down uh, and, I, and I figured that this would probably be a support area if we broke this green line. So what do I expect to happen going forward? Well, it would be nice, me personally, I think it would be nice or good if we saw a V-shaped recovery. This is where Bitcoin's price starts to come back up like this, eventually get back above the green line, maybe fall down on the green line and then it you know, off, off and away it goes. So I'm going to be looking to see something like this in the future. That's not 100% exact, but something like that, right? I want to show you a few other charts that I've got up here as well. This is the EMA ribbons, right? So the EMA ribbons, like I said in the last video, that it might look scary if you fall down to like 57K, but it wouldn't be that scary when you look at it on the EMA ribbons because it's kind of still in a bullish trend. What the EMA ribbons does is it looks for trend reversals, essentially, and how long long you can ride that trend meaning when this yellow line that's underneath tangles and comes above that represents the trend is reversing we're now going bullish notice in the past it was all bearish price action was below the ribbons and in this case the price came above the ribbons and it's been holding relative support above the rib uh, ribbons and this is what you want to see let's just delete this dotted line this is what you want to see when you see price action in a bull trend and if you take a look at the past we can see in many cases of the bull trend look price comes up we see a tangle in ribbons it's the yellows now on top for the ribbons and you can see price action bounce, bounces above it and it's been known to be true here as well and I feel like we could be doing something similar to this where prices have broken up from the bottom of the cycle let's just really take a look at this the tangle of the ribbons happen you see the yellow come above the yellow remains on top for the ribbons you know the reds underneath and then you see price action bounce above these ribbons but in most cases you do see these disgusting falls which is what one one was pretty much we experienced it already <laughs> <clears throat> where we see price action come straight down and cool my breath <laughs> uh, price action comes straight down there's a big long wick that gets bought back up and then we see body candles hold above i want to see body candles hold above this yellow line on the ribbons in the future so it's fine we can see harsh sell-offs we can see these 20 30 40 percent drops in the market but as long as we remain bullish the, the yellow ribbons remain above we're in a good bull trend it's healthy it's normal you can't have prices just go up and up and up and not see no profits people will take profits especially if they feel like it's a good time to take profits so in this case this is what we saw we saw people sell off we saw the ribbons down here got you know we saw a little bit of a wick come up what do i want i want to see this be above this yellow line hold a body candle above the yellow line which right now bitcoin would have to remain this is a weekly time frame every week about about above 61000 if bitcoin can remain uh, remain above 61000 this week at the, by the end of this week I think that we could see something bullish. I think we might see a green candle on the next one, but that's my personal opinion. We'll see what happens uh, and we'll just take it from there because I can only show you what I see as, you know, from what we're seeing now. So it needs to come above $61,000. Actually, to be precise, it's 61000 uh, let's have a look. What is this? 61700 61800 Almost $62,000. Almost. I've got this chart right here as well. And this one's quite interesting. 
And I want to talk about, and this is uh, the Bitcoin on the weekly time frame. Yeah. And I've got the RSI and the stochastic RSI, these two right here. I've been focusing on this RSI, trying to understand what the pattern that it's doing and why it's doing it. And as you notice, we've been seeing this RSI come up, fall down, come up, you know, hit almost like an over, like a overbought territory. Like if, if you have a look here, it's on the 88 on the RSI, right? RSI for people that knew stands for Relative Strength Index. It shows us are people buying this too much or are they selling too much? If it comes up really high, people are buying it too much. If it comes low, people are selling it. I would like to see it sort of come down here where we are on this white line, sort of curve, and then come back up like this, you know? Sort of come back up like this. And even if it falls again, fine. But if we remain doing something like this, where we come back up again, peak up maybe, come down and come back again and peak up maybe and come down, that could be incredibly bullish. Something like this, what I've drawn here. And we've seen this before, where it holds support on this white line underneath. Let me bring down, you don't need to pay attention to the bottom one. Let me bring that one down. So let me bring this down, just focus on this. I think that this would be a very bullish structure. Even though you'd see a lot of washing about, like price action going up and down, and it, it, but it would be a bullish thing, right? To see something like this, right? Let me show you in the past, because I've drawn a, a, a bubble around what we saw in the past that did something similar. And you can see here, right? It's very washy, like, you know, you see that go up, falls down, goes up, falls down, goes up, fall, look, peaks just above in the oversold, falls down, comes up again, peaks in the oversold, and obviously a massive, that's the end. But it happened a few times is what I'm saying. One, two, you can count this one here, three, four, five, six, seven times. It happened a lot where we kept seeing on the weekly time frame the, pro, uh, the RSI was bouncing between these two lines and it's important because that shows that you can have uptrends in a bull market, but they cool off. Now let's pinpoint every top, every peak where they, it starts to become oversold-ish, right? So as you know, yeah, it is. This is considered oversold because we've got, let me see if I can make this color more clear so you can see, because there's like a, um, a sort of like a background color. So I just wanted to make this blue zone a bit more clear so you can see how and when it's becoming oversold because every time you see the RSI come out of this blue zone between here, that's when it's considered oversold, right? Sorry, sorry, overbought. I'm saying oversold, overbought. I mean, it means people are buying the uh, uh, Bitcoin too much. It needs to cool off. And take a look. This was the first one. I'll do a horizontal, uh, a vertical line straight down and take a look right here. Let me get rid of this uh, top, right? Just focus on this first one. You can see clearly where we're becoming overbought, but we were still in a bull market. Look, prices were still going up. And take a look here when this happened, we did see price action fall down. This was a massive drop. I'm trying to get it to the wick from here down to here. It was about 37% drop, enough to shake out the market. Let's pinpoint this one right here, right? Like this. Let's take a look again. So we did see another sell. If I'm going to get rid of this uh, yellow circle, uh, you can see here again that we went up. And again, if you pinpoint it from this wick up here, right down to, I'm trying to do it so we can see it. So from here down to here, it's not exact, but that's still a 33% drop. Every time I pinpoint these, these overbought areas, right? Let me just come out again. Let's get rid of that. So, which is outside this blue zone, right? You can see every time it comes up to here, we're seeing sharp sell-offs. Look, this is the next one here. Look at it, sharp sell-off. Every time, look, this is the next one here. Sharp sell-off, massive fall, uh, fall downs in price. But this was such a bullish trend up. Look at it. It was performing new higher lows, higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. And that's what we want to potentially see. So if we get something like this, where it's up and down constantly, but it, it ranges between these two white lines, this top line, I'm going to change it gold. Just to say that's your golden opportunity to sort or orangey gold. That's your that's your opportunity to really sell and take massive profits because that's going to sort of be the top of the t the cycle. Yes, if we can ever get up there, or just it's good times. Look, here's an example. Good times to be selling when it comes up here. Let's see here, and it peaks here in the past. Did we peak like this in the future? Right here, like we peaked right here. Almost came up to this dotted gold line. And this was sort of net roundabout, almost round about the top of the cycle. But that's good examples of where we should maybe consider taking profits. But this is what we want to see in the future, up and down, up and down. And it can just be bullish.
So this is what I'm watching, yeah? Was this helpful to you? If it was, drop that like. Give me a subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have a good day, evening, night, whatever time you're watching this. Uh, yeah, if you want to become a Patreon, the link is in the info section. We are getting close to a brand new month. I recommend waiting until the first of the month or the second. I've noticed people are waiting to the second of the month now, just so you don't get charged twice by Patreon. I don't know why they do it. Sometimes they do. Uh, but that way, you know, you're going to get your, your fair share when you come over to Patreon. Um, I recommend my exclusive VIP partner tier. This is what I'm doing. I'm trying to teach people or just show people the opportunity in crypto, show you, help you understand trading, help you understand charts as well as 100x gains and everything else, right? You have to have that fine mix. But I make it easy for people to understand the charts, understand how to read the charts. There's other things that I'm doing over here. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be bringing some more glass node analysis as well. I think it's important. Patrons will see it. You don't have to miss out. You can come over here and check it as well, but I will be doing one. I'll probably upload it to the Patreon some point this week as well to show them what I'm seeing. Yeah, but it's powerful analysis. You don't want to miss out. If you can afford it, the exclusive VIP partner tier. And if you've got a bit more money and you want to play with, that you want to play with and you want to come and, you know, in, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, educate yourself more. <laughs> the CEO tier gives you access to the VIP Telegram group. It's powerful. Over 800 people in that group. The group never sleeps. If there's something hot happening in the crypto space, I can tell you now my group knows about it first because <laughs> there's too many people around the world constantly posting in this group and they're smart investors. Don't miss out. Guys, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Cheers. Oh.